Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Wither Waves. After the Battle of the North of Baron, everything came to an end. Your friends are calling you to meet up with snacks at Pahu Restaurant. It seems like they like to know more about the little one from within your body. Today, we're going to do the Hong Long story quest. We're actually going to do Trial Keltus first before we begin. Look at this beautiful figure, the way she dresses, and the heels. Makes me think I should probably pull her normal attack. Let's see how it strikes. Oh, was that a dragon? What the hell was that? The ability. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hey, hey, hey. The ability. Ooh, nice. Your arts. Let's see. Oh, fuck! Holy shit, that's terrifying, dangerous, and good! Damn, girl, you should probably both be pulling for you. Look at all these little we got from the updates. Ooh, that's like, and we got some XP's on that? What? That's a lot. Now, I might try to pull for it, actually. I want, like, other fast tech kills to use in my team, actually. Hey, my girls! Oh, it's been a while. How's it how's going? I just walk up the stairs and just cuts me off to go down. Over here, been waiting for ya. I thought Yang Yang said you had a super cool little buddy to show us. Where is it? It's inside of me. Uh, I don't know. It's inside of me. There you go. Hmm. Did it just pop out of your tacit mark? Hmm. Smells good. So. Is this how it first showed up when you guys were in the Norfolk Barrens? Yeah. Yes, back then we... As I fought off those tacit discords, a burst of energy erupted from that statue. Two forces clashed and collided, and later, one of them emerged victorious, vanquishing the other in a violent clash. General Jian and Rover later told me it was this little thing coming out of Rover's body. It was blocking or even consuming the overflow of Thrinodian power. It reminded me of how Rover once absorbed frequency energy with his body in a similar fashion. So, we took him to the academy for a checkup with Baiju. Apparently, this little one is what we had detected before. It's a speculated space or organism hidden inside your body. Now we finally know. It shares similar frequencies with tacit discords reverberations. It resembles an echo processed by the data bank, stored inside your body instead of a terminal. In other words, it's your own echo, captured or absorbed at some point. Without you, it can't manifest. That's why Baiju couldn't confirm just how you absorbed that echo back then. Was it you? Was it the little one? Or maybe the two of you together? And Baiju discovered more after analyzing your spectrums. She found a new power source within you. Similar to the crownless, but even stronger. This power comes from the tacit discord you defeated in Norfolk Barrens. So... The excess energy this little thing had consumed somehow ended up in your body, available at your disposal. In other words, there is a deeper connection between the two of you. Or, according to Baiju, it's a convergent codependency. Hmm, convergent codependency? Uh, to put it simply, you are connected. While you are two separate individuals, your energies and vitals can affect each other, for better or for worse. You may even feel each other's emotions. The bond between you and this creature is symbiotic. As it strengthens, so do you. However, if one is harmed, the other suffers. Fortunately, since it can't ever leave your side, it's not an easy target for attackers. And if they do strike, it can seek shelter inside your body for safety. What if I died? Mm, I think I understand. Okay, <clears throat> well, that's pretty much it. Baija was going to explain it to you herself. 
but she has to go check on a newly appeared Sonora Sphere in Zhao Zhou. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Uh, this is too much information for me to process. Let me get this straight. Uh. So, it helped Rover fight off mm. the Thrinodian? Mm. This guy ate the whole entire food! Seriously? Mm. This teeny tiny thing could do that? <laughs> Seems mm. unlikely. Oh my god! Mm. I'm starving too! You ate the entire food! Why? Yeah. Hmm. Don't look down on me. You'll regret it when you learn what I'm capable of. That poker-faced researcher was absolutely shocked when she examined me. <laughs> Said I'm not just any echo. I'm a super duper cool one. Rarest of them all. <laughs> hmm. That doesn't sound like the Baiju I know. Yeah, no way Baiju talks like that. She's more of a data dump kind of person. Super duper cool? <laughs> nah, too extra for her. Seems like you're trying to boost your ego a bit. Oh, actually, while those aren't Baiju's exact words, that is what she meant. She mentioned highly intelligent echoes that connect on their own in other countries. Said they are involved in every aspect of human life with unique abilities beyond our imagination. Those echoes are rare, though. Neither I nor Baiju, an eco-acoustics expert, have ever seen one in person. But this little thing here? It could be one of those foreign echoes. Yeah, makes sense. Now we just gotta figure out where it came from. Who knows? We may find other cool echoes in that place. Mm, are you seriously buying all of this already? Well, both General Jian and Baija have confirmed it. No way they're lying. I'll admit the thought of someone else having an echo inside them sounds pretty crazy to me. <laughs> but with you, anything's possible. You can absorb reverberations with just your hands, like the legend says. So maybe one day you just stumbled upon this little thing and soaked it up like a sponge. Sounds feasible, I guess. So... Do you know where exactly he absorbed you? Huh? How am I supposed to know? Why don't you just ask him? Hmm... Sure, she can ask. It's not like I have the answer. Test, test. Don't take that tone with me. But... Even if Echoes can have memories... They probably wouldn't remember things earlier than their first manifestation. I wonder if that's the case with this little one, too. Aha! Finally! Someone with common sense. That green-haired, serious guy asked me a similar question. Sorry to disappoint, but I really don't remember anything before I showed up. Hmm... Maybe... <gasps> Maybe... I was just sleeping inside him this whole time. So of course I don't remember. Sleeping? Seriously? It's been so long. All those happenings, all that fighting, and you didn't hear anything? Wow, that's... Your sleeping quality is really something. <coughs> I prefer it to not stay awake at that time. So you've got privacy to be respected. <laughs> don't worry. Your body's sound insulation is amazing. You can dive into it, and everything goes quiet. The only problem is, I never know when I'll wake up again. And when I do wake up, I get tired and hungry fast. So I have to crawl back in for more rest. <gasps> I know. It's all because I'm not eating enough. That's why you kept disappearing. He went back to sleep from lack of energy. Makes sense. Regular echoes need to be powered by the terminal, too. Hmm. I thought you'd be really different from the usual ones we see. Turns out you share a lot in common. So you probably don't know your denomination or nickname. No wonder everyone's been calling you the little one. Denomination? What's that? The universally agreed terms for special echoes, like names for humans. 
They're named based on their characteristics, abilities, and places of origin. My denomination. It's... It's... I don't know. Do I not have a name at all? What? No way. No way. Hold up a sec. There. If all the special echoes have names, how can I not have one? Do you just stare at the Yang's tits like the hell, boy? I don't want to be called the little one all the time. It doesn't sound cool at all. How about this? You help me come up with a name, and I will let you have some of the food. You little whole thing, oh. dude. There is nothing left. <sighs> you ate it. You funny dude. So I'm gonna uh, call him next something. Time, next time, I'll definitely say something for you. Just uh, just give me a name, please. Can we name it now? Can we actually type it down or what the select? Yes, I want it now. Look, your name's Tisha. Your name's Yang Yang, and you. Uh, your name is... Wolva! Heh, <laughs> that sounds interesting. Wait, didn't you forget everything? How do you still remember? I just came with it. It's my new name now. With your old name and memories all gone, it's a good idea to go with a new one. It makes everything more convenient and represents a fresh start. Yeah! Exactly like she said! Every one of you has a name, and I want one for myself, too. I'm really not asking much. I just want a name that sounds a little cool, a little special, and epic, and super smoking. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> that's a long list of descriptors. Names are a big deal, you know. Like once you have one, it's stuck with you for life. Gotta make sure it's a good one. Can't have people not scared of me when they hear it. No time for regrets here. That's true. Let's see. You want a cool one. What about Echo the Invincible? What do you say? Uh nah. Nah. -uh. Absolutely yeah, no. no. That's too straightforward. It's it's no better than calling me the little one. Hey, it makes every difference in the world. I am Echo the Invincible! That's what a hero play character would say as their transformation call. Or, uh, or maybe, since you can fly, and you've got those long ears, why don't you call yourself, a uh, Righteous Raptor, or Valor Hawk, or, uh, Flying Fury? I don't think they like it. No. Absolutely no. Why do they all sound so... Ugh, cringy? <laughs> why? I love it when people call me the Jinjo Speedster. Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> sure, if you say so. Anyway, they all sound like anything but my name. Absolutely no. Okay, let me think of one. I was in all this. I was in all that. What do you want? Let's make it simple. Why do you just call yourself Appy? Aha! I knew Rover would come up with a good... Wait. Why does it sound so random? You didn't just pick two random syllables, did you? Hmm. Abby means joy is what you bring to us. Like, yeah. So, is it because I've been saying absolutely no a lot? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should come up with a better one. Ugh, I, I meant to tease it as a joke, but I can tell it's upset now. On second thought, a name is indeed very important. Maybe I'll have to come up with a different one. Let's just think another. Uh, Abby. Abra. Abraxas? What's wrong? What are you muttering about? Abra. What? Sounds like you're reading a spell. Uh, I don't know, but I just have this feeling that this is what my name should be. Okay, ready? Abby. I like the sound of that. <laughs> That's my name. Hmm. I thought you didn't like it. Of course I like it. You came up with it for me. I was just trying to get used to it. That's all. Besides, 
I feel attached to this name now. <laughs> My name is Abby. You will not call me the little one again. Sure, we won't. Got it. Well, that didn't work out. I was hoping we could get some answers from the little... I mean, from Abby. Hey! We're back at square one. I really thought we could figure out where Abby came from. It might not lead us to other special echoes, but it's at least a starting point to uncover Rover's past. Then we'll have something to do before asking Madam Magistrate and our Sentinel about it again. Maybe we can start with Abby's special abilities instead. Each special echo has a unique ability. We can compare what Abby does with our records of other echoes to see where they came from. Besides, it was Abby's power that helped Rover defeat the Thranodian, I suppose. Likely so. Why do you sound so unsure? Didn't you see it all with your own eyes? Hmm. Hmm. It'll be more sure if I can see it again. Hmm. Abby, can you show us again? I'm super curious how you did that. Who knows? We might learn something. Well, since you asked, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> But this place is too crowded. Let's move to that open spot over there. Over there? I mean, surely. All right, him. <laughs> All eyes on me. Come on, watch. Yeah. I'm disappointed as Chai has. Yeah, go on. It's like he's trying to take a big shit, but it's not working. <laughs> Come on! Shit out! Take a shit! It's not working. Uh, what? N did something happen? Yeah, uh, it didn't work. Uh, j just a little slip. That's all. I can do it. You gotta trust me. I don't think he has enough power to do it. I would just... Wait! Back then, I just stood in front of him, and that big bad Thranodian monster thing just... just left. So... you didn't really do anything? Huh? No, I... I definitely did something. Like I said, I was asleep, and then all of a sudden, I smelled something really yummy. Coming closer and closer. Ah, uh, it was like nothing I ever smelled before. I didn't have time to think. I just had to show up and reach out for it. So maybe Abby's power activates automatically under certain circumstances. Perhaps Abby can't control it yet. Yeah, it looks that way. You can't even hold your shape for very long yet. Hey, hey, hey. Stop looking down on me. Like I said, it was just a little slip. Really? I think about it. I just stood there and did nothing and ended up beating a Thranodian. Imagine what I could do if I actually tried. Hey, Rover, get behind me next time we run into anything. Okay? I'll keep you safe. Promise. I got a weapon. You're so real for that, Abby. You bet. I said I'm super strong. I'll protect him. That's very reassuring to hear. But it seems we're stuck again. I can't think of anything else to check out. Hmm. Uh, let's take our time. There's no hurry. Knew it. Nothing about rovers ever gonna be easy to figure out. Maybe we should bring Baijap, Mr. Shangli, Yao, and all the researchers in Jinjo? No. In the entire Huang Long together, they'll do a nice and thorough examination on Abby, and then. Absolutely no! <laughs> I said no! Told that poker faced researcher already! I'll make it clear. I am to stay with Rover. I agree. Abby cannot leave Rover's side, but we can't just trap him here for research. See my hand. Where did you absorb Abby? What are Abby's powers? And what exactly happened between you two? There are so many questions we can't figure out yet. 
Our Sentinel Joy can look into the future. Nothing ever deviates from its predictions. It has already sort of guided you to the Norfolk Barons through Madame Magistrate's messages, right? Now that the Thranodian crisis is over, perhaps you can consult our Magistrate and our Sentinel again. I'm sure they can offer you some more useful guidance. Hmm. I'll pay Jinshi another visit once she returns. Relax, relax. You have me now, remember? Meeting up with that Jinshi person, getting your memories back. I've got you. Speaking of that, so this Sentinel can predict the future? That sounds cool. The name Jue sounds pretty cool too. It's almost as cool as mine. What does it look like? Where is it? Since we're paying it a visit, this sentinel should treat us with food, right? Mm. I wonder how the oh my god, as we like Are you our version of Paimon at this point? That was the everything? You gotta pay for it, dude! It every one of us. Of course it's cool. But why are you talking about food again? Didn't you just stuff your face? What? Is your stomach a black hole? I can't help it. I'm always starving. Just like Paimon, she thinks the same thing. At the point where the Yang and Chikaya, you travel. Several days later, I was reading that. This game didn't even allow me to read that. Are you serious? Rover, did you hear that? Yes. My stomach is growling. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Ah! How about we go to that place we went to last time with Yang Yang and Chisha? I love their food so much. Well. I think you are a Paimon. You are literally our Genshin version of Paimon right now. <sighs> Why are you even starving? You this guy. Mm, yummy, yummy. You wanna say some? Don't eat the whole thing. Uh, hello. Are you with me? You seem a bit distracted. I'm trying to focus. With so much delicious food right in front of you, aren't you gonna try any? Well, if you're not interested, I'll gobble it all up. <laughs> Abby? You've been absent-minded the whole day. Still bothered by that dream from last night? Wait, so you had a dream about the Sentinel? Like the one from your flashback when we saw the Sentinel statue after you lost your memory? Hmm, this time I saw Moy. <laughs> Hang on, so let me get this straight. The Sentinel swooshed you off to a mountain shaped like a dragon the dragon and then there were all these bad things going on with lots and lots of tacit discords but the sentinel saved the day how exactly did it protect everyone again oh in your dream it made the time different there yeah the time in the mountains seemed to have slowed down from the outside away from the tacit discords the Sentinel must have created a barrier by manipulating the flow of time, keeping those monsters out. It was a safe haven from all the disturbances caused by the tacit discords, where people lived peacefully. Also, in my dream, I wasn't affected by the slow time and could freely move in and out of the barrier. It's no shock that you have awesome powers, being friends with me. Uh... What was that place you dreamed about called? I'm not entirely sure I heard it correctly. But in my dream, the Sentinel mentioned a place called Mount Firmament. Mount Firmament? Never heard of it. Oh, some people with a hundred. You've never heard of Mount Firmament? Then I'm sure you're not from around here. Huh? Hold on! Did you just say Mount Firmament? Oh my! Did that echo just talk? Hmm. Relax, it won't kick your ass or anything. Come on, man, relax. You don't hear an echo talking every day, but it's not that uncommon either. I heard there's a country called Re. Uh, Rhinus. What? Anyway, the echoes there are next level. Hmm, what's up with the mouth thumb limit? Oh, you're not from around here? <laughs> well, that explains why you don't know about Mount Firmament. Legends say 
Mount Firmament is where the first people of Jinzhou live. It looks like a giant statue of our sentinel Zhuai. I've never actually heard of anyone going to that place. They say those who try either get lost in the sea mist or never come back. If you're curious, just head southeast. Mount Firmament is on the east side of Whining Ix's Mire, and you can see it from a distance. The southeast. What's your take? Any idea? The past few days, especially this morning, I caught this unique smell from the southeast, from that mountain they just mentioned. A unique smell? What do you mean? It's like a strong energy pulsing through the air, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It feels kind of weird, though. Doesn't smell natural. Could it have anything to do with what you said? A place where time passes slowly? Hmm. Do you want to go check it out? I had a flashback about seeing their sentinel. Perhaps that happened on Mount Firmament. I can feel an unknown force guiding me. Urging me to go there and find something. Jinchi said she'll go search for the Sentinel and update me on its whereabouts. But so far, I've not heard anything from the City Hall yet. Then shall we go check it out together? It feels really suspicious. Let's go ask Jinchi about it. Okay, we got the story quest to begin now. I'm like, okay, let's get started to the sea hall. Abby, are you getting sleepy again? My goodness. Let me uh, take a quick nap, all right? I've got keen ears. If anything goes down, just give me a holler and I'll, I'll be. I'll be up in a jiffy, I swear. Hmm, you sure about that? Actually, curious, does Yinglin have any physics when Elva goes up? No, it's a suit. Why is it holding on? But when she came and bounce, when she bounces, they do jiggle a little bit. Is your outfit that that lady? Like, damn, I'm the two bounce you one. Hello, any info? Any info? Okay, it's just her. It's just San Hoa. I'm like, oh, what about you? We should heal. Information. I need it. Greetings, Rover. What can I help you with today? I'm here for Jinsho. I have questions about the Sentinel. I regret to inform you that Madam Magistrate is not in the City Hall. She has left for Mount Firmament. In fact, we have not heard back from her for days. So you don't know what she is up to? Unfortunately, no. Please keep this confidential. The situation in Jinjo is still unstable after our battle with the Thrinodian. We must limit discussion of the Magistrate's whereabouts to a select few. What's going on? When we captured Scar, he claimed that the Praxidus had imprisoned our Sentinel. It was around the same time that Madam Magistrate lost track of Sentinel Jue. If our Sentinel is truly in danger, or if someone with malicious intent obtains this information, the potential consequences could be as catastrophic as the previous Thrinodian invasion. In order to investigate the Sentinel's whereabouts, Madam Magistrate has left for Mount Firmament, its last recorded location. Did she bring anyone with her? Bodyguards? Can you get in touch with them? Madam Magistrate traveled to Mount Firmament alone. The looming threat of the Thrinodian discouraged any additional diversion of human resources. Furthermore, when it comes to the Sentinel, force is not a viable solution. Hmm. Hmm, I need to go to a mouth for a minute to meet with the Sentinel. Madam Magistrate trusts you. It is beyond my authorization to meddle in your decisions. However, the landscape around Mount Firmament is complex. One must be accompanied by a special wayfinder to navigate safely. That's all I know. Where can I find this wayfinder then? Currently, she's likely at the ferry terminal in Whining Ix's Mire. I'll reach out to her. To learn more about Mount Firmament, you can meet her at the ferry. I lack the same level of understanding of the situation there as she does. 
All right. I trust Madam Magistrate's decisions. I will do my utmost to handle the public matters on her behalf while she is away. I just... This worry about her safety won't leave me. In her last video message, I could tell she seemed weaker than usual. Despite her efforts to maintain composure, Madam Magistrate's situation might not be optimistic. Rover, Mount Firmament is a dangerous place. Please take care. I have sent the coordinates to your terminal. Thank you for your kind help. I pray you will both return safely. Be fine. Because I'm the main character. Abby! I'm here. Hey, did you notice how the mountain has a strangely pleasant smell? Hmm. It doesn't look edible, though. Hmm. Are you fucking hungry again? Not that I'm hungry or anything. I just tend to doze off easily. <laughs> Feels like my body can only process what I consume while sleeping. And don't worry. If there's any danger coming your way, I'll wake up like clockwork. Just like last time. Well, unless there's nothing that can even remotely challenge you. In that case, I probably will wake up. Uh, I should probably bring friends to help me out. Let's head to the ferry. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. Oh, what? Mount Firmament. Our wayfinder should have plenty information to share. Yeah, I hope it does. No, wayfield, wayfield, wayfield. Oh, I could have all completely no to go next. Damn, this game is. Can I come back here? Mm, I wish I could. Damn, guess I can't. Now, where's the location? Okay, I do know it's... Oh, yeah, look at this. A new area. So, are we exactly going that way? It seems that way. I'm actually seriously going alone. Oh, look at that. It's like a dragon. Oh, like your vision, huh? Interesting. Like, ugh. It's wetting out here. And who's that behind me? Ooh, Bobas. Who is that, actually? Are you trapped here by the rain? Um, yeah. Uh, no, I'm waiting for someone. I happen to be waiting for someone, too. Oh, wait. She looks like... Is she another new character that's become playable? Like I see from the loading screen? I mean, not loading screen, from the launcher. Oh, who the fuck are you? I am Chun Li, your wayfinder. Ah, okay. Don't worry, the rain won't last much longer. Our destination lies just. <gasps> Wait, behind. those ill piece. Are you Abby? Are you my Abby? Who's in my wrist? Who became human for him? Rover. God what do you damn. Know about Mount Firmament. God damn. Why well, you have a sexy appearance in front of me? <laughs> I, you, I am getting lit, so she might kill me if I'm like you instead of her. What on earth is going on in that place? There is a certain folk tale. Have you heard of it? While hiking, oh my god, those heels! A woodcutter came upon two people playing weichi and became enthralled with their game. Upon his return home, he found a world transformed. Everything was different, as if in a new reality. That mountain was a secret realm where time worked differently. The woodcutter only spent half a day inside, but outside, a century had passed. Mount Firmament is such a place. But unlike this folktale, there is a price to pay for entering and exiting its grounds. If I spend a full day in the mountains, ten days will be taken off my lifespan upon my leaving, reflecting the actual time that has passed outside. Not to mention, the situation on Mount Firmament right now 
is probably even more complex than before. What happened? The strange time patterns of Mount Firmament are tied to the Sentinel's temporal mandate. Time ebbs and flows at its will. If the Fraxidus really has imprisoned our Sentinel, Those who really causing pretty, it to lose lie. control of its powers, that could explain the temporal disruptions. Which means Mount Firmament is basically a dead end, with no way out. And you are heading straight into the dead end. Lifespan is not the top of my concerns. If you've decided to venture there, I'll join you as your wayfinder. Okay. Jin Shi has stayed on Mount Firmament for too long. Shunya said she might be in danger. She doesn't miss a thing, does she? Before Jin Shi left for Mount Firmament, scales began appearing on her body and her resonance ability was weakening. Those signs pointed to a dire situation for the Sentinel as well. That's why I must lead you there. You might have the key to solving our dilemma. What do you mean? You're here because I invited you. Sanhua was instructed to disclose my whereabouts if you ever went to City Hall and asked about Jin Shi. Hmm, how do you know I go to the City Hall? Mm -hmm. It's no surprise that you went to City Hall for answers, considering your memory loss and Jin Shi's prolonged absence. I need to tell you the truth, because you've been the top priority, no, the sole concern of our enemy, the Fraxidus. That overseer tried everything to sway you and make you join their side before our battle with the reviving three. Oh Island. yeah, Sky. It's a clear sign that your involvement could disrupt their plans. Especially at Mount Firmament. Hmm. It seems everyone's interested in me. Including women! Records at the Grand Library tell a tale of someone who dared to enter Mount Firmament after the Sentinel's descent. And they emerged unscathed. As if time had no hold on them. They were also said to have stood alongside the Sentinel. And here before me stands someone who bears an uncanny resemblance to that very individual. You think that person is me? Is it you? If not you, who else could it be? It took me some effort to finally reach this conclusion. Rover, the journey ahead is filled with danger at every turn. Once we venture into the mountains, there's no turning back. Are you sure you still want to join me? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, the strange time pattern can't hurt me. Even if it did? As your wayfinder, I'll lead you to your destination. What you do after that is entirely up to you. Hmm, okay. Oh, we're going on a boat! Okay! The rain is subsiding, and the sky will soon clear. It's time for us to head out. Okay, so I'm just gonna- oh, guess I'm staying away for a while. Okay, that was fast. Hey, look, the sky is clearing.
Uh, oh, you see something come up, isn't it? Are you singing? Okay, I'll listen. Nice angle. <laughs> the game just did that to my eyes. I fell down on the floor, listening to this melody. <laughs> Look, oh my head! If I download this, if I download this game soon, I probably won't be able to get over there. I once I did this quest first. Now what? We're at the base of Mount Firmament. But we won't enter the temporal barrier until we cross the luminous shore. Hold up, what is this? What is this? What is this? Shall we proceed? Hmm. What is this? Let me read this real quick. So it's called a watchmaker. Watchmakers are scattered across empty firmament and can be collected using basic text or witch text. Someone has to need interest in them. Get the watchmakers to exchange their valuable resources with her. Some people so must if be I do this. What? That's it? Okay, that seems pretty really interesting. Ooh. Okay. I don't know. Let me check something real quick. So, is this like a story quest I'm gonna do? Hmm. Do deals. Oh, look at you! I, I was, I was gonna say something. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just. Oh, he's just been to the wall. That's kind of creepy. You think there's no bridge, but actually, the bridge has broken. What about that Nakums over there? What's this? Judging by its design and intricate details. It must be a creation of the court of Savante. This is what they call a Chronos Order. What is that? It mimics the Sentinel's temporal mandate, able to reverse small-scale events and restore objects to their previous state. My master once told me about the court of Savante and their fearless quest to unravel the mysteries of Mount Firmament, risking all in their pursuit of understanding its strange flow of time. Their dedication bore fruit in the form of fascinating inventions, such as this Kronos Order. But it doesn't add up. What's Swan? Why hasn't this brilliant invention spread beyond Mount Firmament? This Kronos Order was built beyond the Temporal Barrier, so its creator must have already paid the price for leaving. But even if they died, there are countless other CSC members who could replicate it. How did such advanced technology become lost? Or... Do these Chronos Orders stop functioning once they are removed from Mount Firmament? What shall we do now? This Chronos Order, weathered though it may appear, bears no signs of neglect. Someone has tended to it diligently. Let's give it a try. Good idea. Use the course of the the flow of time, Smile. Change the state of current item with the taste. Move the channel of the right to move forward to the effect range. Move the channel of the left to the right time to the effective range. It's effective range. Oh, where that already? After finishing your adjustments, the object affected by the constant will maintain the state of the world eye after the most recent Tumblr adjustment. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so. Fuck this up. 
Ooh, the bridge is back on. Nice. Like, oh, look, the bridge. Ah, my heel stuck. Help. Just kidding. No <laughs> you'll be good. You'll be good. Ooh, a bird. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. What does that do? Okay, let me actually activate this. Activate. Let me just activate. Oh, so activate. So, what is it? Oh, it's like a small space. Oh, so there's one and two. Oh, there's only two. Okay. I see. Okay. There's only two of those spaces from collecting. Weren't they concerned about losing lifespan? For those fanatics, nothing mattered more than the truth. To live every moment with overwhelming passion. How many can claim such a tenacious drive? An unshakable determination. Oh, I'm still walking. <gasps> these flowers. Okay, when I when you do see these, you actually gotta follow them for your exploration wise, and you get those crystals. I'm gonna call them that. Yeah, like that. Are these puzzles? Ooh, it actually Rover, does. It's the Fraxidus. Fraxidus. Ah, I feel that already. Look. Oh, good, there you go. You gotta give it time. You gotta give it time, actually. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, really? Underneath? Hold up. What are I... Yeah. I mean, I got... Nice! I don't have to... Oh, enemies. Oh, they're fucked. It's more time. Like, what you doing here? Yeah, keep okay, swing, swing, swing. Oh, wow. Oh, there's more of you, huh? Ah, oh, yeah. Flashing me every time I do that. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta watch, gotta watch it. Yo, a four star who does the most damage on my team. That's crazy. Baju. The Fraxidus. It's them again. They've set traps all around the luminous shore. Like, why are they here? Must heal? have anticipated your arrival. Yeah. Ooh, chess, chess. I wonder what you're on this floor. Okay, I got a chest before that happened. A cussing. The entrance is sealed. It's the photon barrier. Another invention from the court of Savante. Specific steps must be followed to undo the barrier. Rover, I'll guide you. Yes, yeah, sure. All right, no reading. Pa pattern vault usually appears instead of other my golden energy paths. Connect to the pattern barrier. Both ranged attacks and melee attacks can deactivate phantom photo vaults. Disabling all photo vaults in the set will deactivate the photon barrier. Once the phantom barrier is down, the sanctuary enemies inside will become active again. Use long range weapons on the photon vaults to cut off its energy. Yeah, like this one. Like, and then you do this, and then you do that. Once we reach the cave's end, we'll enter the domain of Mount Firmament. Oh, echo effect. With caution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's keep going forward. Okay, is there another Discord below that? It's at the beginning. That's what it feels like. That's how bouncy when she walks. I can't focus. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Are they frozen in time? You see this? I was locked in. So it can't hurt me. Oh, just for her. She's like, uh... Ooh. Oh, wow, this place is amazing. Is this the effect of the strange time pattern you mentioned? Time on Mount Firmament used to simply flow slower than in the outside world. Visitors were safe. This is how she's like taller than me. Remained within the temporal barrier. Is your heels? Is your high heels? But what we're seeing now is different. The flow of time has gone haywire. 
This is what we call temporal disruptions. What was once slow and steady has become chaotic and turbulent. Some areas are frozen in time, while others speed up or slow down unpredictably. No one knows how much they'll age after leaving Mount Firmament. But aging from youth to old age may be a blessing compared to the unknown fate that awaits. Leaving Mount Firmament could turn any mortal to dust in just a moment. Such is the power of time within its walls. These poor creatures, trapped in the temporal disruption, are the most pitiful of all. Their bodies and minds have been ravaged by the chaotic time, leaving them in unimaginable suffering. So, it looks like the Fraxidus did manage to capture our Sentinel, leading to the temporal disruptions we are facing now. I had wished that my theories would turn out wrong. As expected, my terminal isn't working. We can't reach Jinshi. The temporal disruption is preventing it from functioning. Jinshi. We can't waste a moment. Jinshi's fate isn't the only one at stake. All the inhabitants of Mount Firmament are in danger. We need to hurry to Hongjen, a town nestled at the heart of Mount Firmament. Jinshi would likely pass through there on her search for the Sentinel. Yeah, look at all those mountains. I'm actually curious about something. Can I actually do this here? Oh no, you can't! Okay, how far is the other one? Okay, it's not that far away. I'm actually good to go then. Damn. Look at this place. Damn. Am I freezing cold? You, seen the, you guys seen the screen? Okay, so if I go into freezing cold water... Uh, 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 what the? I didn't even do anything. My screen's went over all zone. That's my healing source?! Is this like water? Oh, it's spring! Okay, you could take a bath. Okay! I actually like that. There's no time to waste. So the I can go there if I wanted to. The disruptions have spared nothing on our way here. Chung Li, does that mean you're in danger too? So far, nothing feels out of the ordinary. It seems the Sentinel contained the situation before being fully trapped. But I don't know how long the stability will hold. If I go down, please don't worry about me. What? You need only focus on what you have to do. I mean, yeah. Damn. Okay, we got another one. Okay, let me see this animation down. Place it down. It's like, Wolver, you actually have to activate the internet for this location. Yes, I am the Wi Fi provider. Oh, I got big. Look at the. Oh, wow, look at all those spots you're gonna go through. Even the mountains. Unless those are underground. Put some. Hey, some are oh, frozen. Hmm. Look at this place. What's the matter? I dreamed of this place. You dreamed of Hongjen? You describe your dream from last night. Like I dream about this and that, and that's what happened. It sounds like you did dream of this place. Hmm. I dream of Horizon being attacked by TGs. What you just described closely aligns with the accounts documented in our Grand Library. Over a century ago, a vast horde of tacit discords invaded Huanglong. Hongjun suffered greatly during that onslaught. Thankfully, the Sentinel descended, manipulating time to erect a protective barrier keeping those monsters at bay. Rover, perhaps that dream is more than just a dream. It could be a glimpse into your own past and a guiding light for the future.
Yeah? What up? S oh, some still rooms free. And a fat ass. It's the Facetus. Hongjin is a pivotal location, linking various parts of Mount Firmament. With the Fraxidus now targeting us, they'll seize any opportunity to intercept our path. They laid a trap in Hongjin. But every trap has its weak points. Does it? What's this? Someone has used their resonance ability here. But it feels different from the Fraxidus aggression. It's Jinshi. And it seems like she used it in a dire situation. Could it be related to the people of Hongzhen? The traces lead deeper into the heart of Hongzhen. Let's keep moving. Don't let your guard down. Mm, let's look at it that way. Can I just... I'm gonna fold it up. So let's just follow this. Hold up. Hmm. Doesn't help function. Suspend the time by the temporal discussion. This is now for frozen isn't before the disaster dropped. Frozen has turned back to unlucky soul. If I just do this. Hmm. The traces end here. Oh yeah, they oh one is warming though. Someone fought here against those Fraxidus. Must be Jinshi. Her trails led to this location. Using her resonance ability too much would only worsen her condition. But she must have had a reason. Was she helping the people of Hongzhen find refuge? Hmm. I mean, we don't Chen know. Li, there are traces here. They're pointing north. Let's proceed in that direction. Yeah, why not? Since we heal, so let's kill them. You may be standing there. Ooh, I should dodge. I didn't do that. Hey! Your friend is dying! I'm killing him! Do you even care? I'm killing your friend over here! Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, my puppy killed you. Hey, you fucker! What was that commotion? Oh! Oh, shit! I killed your friend. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, bitch? Oh, delicious. This is coming delicious. I mean, I know she Traces is. Disappear by the pond. Rover, we need to keep an eye out for anything unusual. Yeah, I'm gonna kick these guys off first. Oh, there's one that's one of you too. I'm trying to shoot you down. Don't you walk back on me? You like this one? Huh. The vase on the stone table seems rather peculiar. Yeah. Oh! I press F and R at the same time! Oh my god. Am I- I will actually press the off by accident. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. There's something behind the waterfall. She must be inside. That's I've been trapped here! Like, I've been trapped here for weeks and now look, you guys finally found me. Thank you, Liz Wolver. Another photon bearer. Ooh. Come in. Three photon and then, vaults to break. Can I? Can I? Rover, use ranged attacks. Come back in. Uh, ooh, ranged attacks. You said. I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. Let me just aim. My like dad. And me aim my dad. Back up, back up. Aim my dad. Aim that. Nice. Open. Let me in. You two, halt. Hold on. Lady Xingyi. Ooh. Relax, there are honored guests. No need to be tense. Ah, oh. ooh, you may be all but very gorgeous. In a single day, we've greeted both the Magistrate of Jinjo and her trusted counselor in Hongzhen. I can only assume something significant happened. It's been a while, Chang Li. I heard you step down from your position and moved to the countryside. And now here we are, meeting again after all this time, in such unfortunate circumstances. 
For years, I live secluded, no longer concerning myself with the matters beyond Hongzhen. But the current situation in Jinzhou is volatile. It has reunited us in an unpredictable moment. And you, young sir? What shall I call you? Wolva. My name is Xun Yi. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I love how the game like gives us all things. We don't have to say our nicknames we chose ourselves. Also, our actual names. Please follow me this way. It's not safe to talk here. With these people? Or me at the front door? Okay. I'll follow you as this woman. Like, yeah, I want acquaintance, beautiful elf woman. Okay, walk forward. Uncle Fuck, is that your name? Talk to. Oh, I don't know. I don't know who that part. Okay, okay. Where's it? Is? I'll talk to you then. Please pardon my wounds earlier. I didn't know you were here to help Madam Mercy. You were just doing your job. Thank you for your understanding. First the temporary discussion, and now the fluorescent one will, will get a little break. If Chow finds us again, our people won't stand a chance. Anyways, I still want to make up to you. Just just give me a call if you need anything at the mouth fundament. Okay, just one of lessons. Okay. I'm coming! Ah! Is she new too? Or is it just her? Because I'm actually curious. What happened? I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. The Magistrate left Hong Zhen about 15 minutes ago. She should be at the Truth Seekers Pass now. The Truth Seekers Pass? That's what they call it in Hong Zhen. You might know it better as the ruins of a Court of Savante facility. What is Zhang Se doing here? I said anyone. Mm. Lady Shen Yi, please elaborate. Go on, tell us. She could do that? Her scales. Madam Magistrate, are you? I'm. Fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted and escorted to safety. Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much-needed shelter for them to rest a little. Despite being the Sentinel's appointed resonator, I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the Sentinel. This can only mean one thing. The Sentinel's condition is getting worse. Lady Xing Yi, I need to know where the Sentinel was last seen. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Mount Firmament is in serious trouble, and we can't waste any more time. We need our Sentinel to stabilize the time flow. The Sentinel was last seen flying towards Mianlun Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after, but little did they know. We had a defense system in place, built with the help of the Court of Savante. It was reactivated as soon as our Sentinel made it back inside. This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops, and we've already eliminated some of them outside the Mianlun Chamber. To get inside Mianlun Chamber, we have to find the cipher key in Truth Seeker's Pass and unseal it with the Keyforge. Understood. I will go bring back the cipher key. You are injured. Please, rest and leave it to me. She's gonna resist. I still wanna do it. The will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. I implore you, Xing Yi. Help me keep our people safe. Yes, I will, Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, 
the Fraxidus revealed a prophecy from our Sentinel. A fateful clash between the Sentinel and myself that would shape the fate of our city. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. The Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. A day when the humans of Jinjo take control of their own destiny. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. Okay. And then she left. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. How did the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? The Mianlong Chamber was once renovated by the court of Savante. Do you think their research could be involved somehow? I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key, the Mianlun Chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus potential retaliation. We must keep them at bay. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jingxi. We'll distract the Fraxidus main forces, giving you an opportunity to stage your ambush. Mmm, got it. And the locals will handle the rest. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the Truth Seekers pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xingyi. Please, leave it to us. In this place she was born, and in this place she returns. Our Magistrate's fate is bound to Mount Firmament. And to me, and, um, and that woman. Now, it's like going over here, apparently? Damn, people are feeling good. So, this is like a city, apparently. Okay, I hope she's doing fine. I almost see her alive again. I mean, she's playable. Maybe not over here. Did Xing and Jin Shi know each other? Jinxi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. All the government workers there enemies? helped care for and teach her at some one? point, including Lady Xing Yi. She grew up with immense. What's this? I just bounce? Oh, hoo, hoo. I'm not just your heels with that. Forced to suppress her true nature from a young yeah, age. Yeah, Cypher was talking. Thinking Stop back, talking. I mean, she was only a teenage girl when she became the magistrate. I know that's not already. She has been burdened with unimaginable weight that most cannot fathom. Wait, where is it? I see it's here somewhere. Is it above or below? I'm actually. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, now let's head back that way from the shorelines and get that teleport spot out of the way. Watch your leg, Yinglin. Watch your leg. Hmm. Timetable. Look who it is. I assume this is the Truth Seeker's Pass Xing Yi mentioned. Yes. This should be another Chronos Order. It should work in similar ways with the one we saw near the Luminous Shore. Yeah. The entrance is built on that cliff, and it's been blocked. We will need to break the three photon vaults with ranged attacks first. Hmm. What is it, Changji? Nothing. Changling or I was wondering so days are complicated saying. The of Savante Cause these are like Chinese type of names. Mechanism using the Sentinel's power. Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend it. I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability to manipulate time. Unless... The Sentinel willingly taught them. But why? We need to focus on items related to the Court of Savante in Truthseeker's Pass. Maybe we can find some clues there. Hmm. Clues. Okay. So, those three... How's that gonna work? Okay, let's have to read this for a second. What? 
Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, let me just back this up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, that's breaking up. You see that, people? You see Good. that? Did you see the tacitite fulminate on that cliff? Yeah, Perhaps I gave it away. We can create an opening in this disc with an explosion. Mm. Bounce up. Like Gil Mario. There's no time to waste. Okay, let's go. We got that. Break! Yo, oh, you're at the cliff! Kind of. Oh, look at that. I think I. This one? Oh, there's some undergrounds. Okay, I see. I see. Um, okay, so let's actually forward one of these to go. go. Oh, look, it's seeable. It worked. The Ayy. opening fits right onto the middle photon vault. Rover, okay. what? Now we can hit Two. the three photon vaults simultaneously. Anything. Nice! And it opened! I miss she walks out like, Finally! I'm free! Let's go in. Yeah, I'm jumping up. Whee! It's underground! How am I supposed to... Wait, hold up. I see one of you! I, see, I look at the map and I see some of those bells I'm gonna collect too. I lost some flames there, but I'm okay. Okay. Hmm, there was some around here, or am I mistaken? There's some that are not around here. We got those two. Okay, nothing, nothing here. Okay, I guess there's none here. Now let's keep going. Why are there tacit discords here? Oh my no. god. Lord, these monsters, they don't look like the usual tacit discords. These are no. like the works of the Court of Savante. Most likely. Did they create these simulated holograms to protect this place? Mm, most likely. That's what it looks like. I see the glowy parts. Is Dao not dead? Let's do this. Let's keep doing this. Almost done. And boom! I love that ability. That is amazing. Yeah, you did. You get your ass and go. Swing away. Oh my god, more enemies? Okay. You clapping? No clapping. Take this. Get lost. Oh ho ho, nice. And swing! Oh, nice. And it opened. That thing up ahead. Is it another mechanism? It seems to have unlocked after we got rid of those holograms. Let's go and have a look. There was... Oh, another one. Nice. Collect those. And... Collect these two. Just actually... Just around you? Oh, hold on, let me look around real quick. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Do I have some chest on this too? All yours. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm, I'm not reading this. Okay, it's just somewhere. Oh, yes, it is. Bell, bell icon. Oh, what? 74? Yeah, you, you guys are good. It's called I am looking around. Oh, look what it is! Ouch! Oh, you motherfuckers! Take this! Hard action! Keep shooting. Yeah, I'm killing you! Papa Mito! You can get up? Try to go down. Almost there. Ooh, nice. Okay, those are ice. So, my thing is, I gotta use my Sh Shang Hing over here to get rid of it. 
No ice! Gotta devour all of you! The blessing! I'm trying to defend yourself with just ice! Why am I up here? Oh my god, did I even just do that? Hmm. Hmm, those are new ones. Oh, wait, 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 man. I just saw the patch that they could add a dead update to level 21 now. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think that's useless. Because actually, what is the point of what is the point of actually making the level twenty one data bank? What's the point of that when it's already like one hundred percent? You collect these enemies. Okay, another one. Another bell to collect. I'm just exploring around these parts. Ooh. Hold up! Hold up! A sec! Hold up! Think catch up? Is still one in? Oh yes, it is. I am collecting a lot of these. And then I'm just collecting these because why not? Oh wait, what? Why is that red? What's going on with that actually? Hey you the one that's in the water. Can I not oh wait a minute, use a hologram. Excuse me what I was trying to do to you. Um Okay, let me get up here. Oh look at that. It's like okay, I see. What? Hold up, can I bounce? Uh -huh, okay, that's about the question. Uh end up with the mega to start the echo challenge, Clyde Bane into, into a clang bang. Just want to claim to use the leap device to launch yourself into the book of ice spray to break through it. Just want to claim being jump and then launch a pollen track to break through the horizon ice barrier. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay, never mind. Okay, the one just looks recognizable actually. Okay, can I? It's not letting me though. Like, what's going on? I can't even turn to one apparently. Okay. Now we got something to deal with, actually, so let me just go back where I just came from. Okay, <laughs> finally found my way back, actually. So that's one out of two? The glowing patterns on that gate. It's a flare crest. Did the Coit of Salte build this too? Yes. The flare crests have a complex structure, but they can be deciphered with patience. See how each star represents a flare stone? That mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them. That's why the corresponding star it has deemed. Yes. We still need the other two flare stones to open it. Wait. The blood and scales here. It's Jinshi. Jinshi was injured? She is likely teetering on the edge of overclocking now. We are running out of time. Uh-oh. Bleeding out. That's what it sounds like. Just doing that because why not? I'm bleeding out. I'm bleeding out. I'm bleeding out for you. I was in you, actually! Decades have passed, but those researchers' presence still lingers in this place. Didn't I saw this? I did actually. <sighs> I mean, it's what we need now since I saw this now. Title Spectrum Authority Mathematics was reporting for Subject C001. Entry number 8C6947. Abstract The data present in the report were observed from the spectrum of filling performed on Subject C001, also known as June, from June to December. During a public experiment conducted on June 14th, Researcher observed a 15 second frequency loss in subject C001 per term. Five additional tests were later conducted through the following day. An all day obtained for reflecting the frequency loss were highly conducted, margin of error urges of below 0.02. Recorded data of the res resonate spectrum on the third 
6th, 11th, 23rd, and 30th of the circuit month indicate of gradual lengthening of subject C001's frequency loss. The data appetite significant increases with the Bailey pattern. It was predicted that the event occurred during, due to the presence of subject C002, also known as the medical chamber. Certainly, 32 one factor experiment confirms a significant contradiction between subject C002 and the direction of the frequency loss in subject C001. Notably, subject C002 exaggerated and its notability affects all on the duration growth on, of subject C001. Based on spectral monitoring data of subject C001 from June to December, the following conclusion has been, can be drawn. Subject C001 build the fake manufacture. Subject C002 can totally slow down the aggression of subject C001's defeat, deflect, but cannot make up the subject C001 figure loss. Especially one source, which is middle number C349. With the help of the public version visitor, we were given the opportunity to convert the subject C001 directly. It was meaningful and immensely conversational, though we didn't get as much information as I had helped hoped for. But at the very least, the combination provided one point. Our previous research was effective, and that was no directly in C001. As pre c one's own declaration, one of the temporary programs was lost. And during its prime, c one had completely the military time by declaring or even housing it, we rooted it and make a correction as needed. Nevertheless, the current contradiction of c one can be described as one of the sickness with invisible disruption to time with any attempts and at correlation or rotation interfectives. Consequently, malt has been transformed into an isolated entity medicine that vast ocean of time, despite the internal purpose being one of the protections. Especially two sources which is member number C382. By one due time, the flow models, we can bump with two hypotheses. Hypothesis number C001 is defected, is non organization and disaffected may have taken place around the period of C001's first arrival of mouth fundaments. It has been confirmed that the defect cannot be reserved. C report HCC HC7426. Hypothesis number two. The diversity is typically progressed between the entire and external of the time bubble, has been progressively wandering. Based on data compromission, the existence of correlation between the degradation rate of the time flows in mouth fundament and the growth rate of the duration of C001's frequency loss. Expansion of the analysis of C001 would eventually case to exist the actual flow of time in mouth fundament would likely surpass his elements in an impeccable range of engines such as entirely of Jin Ho. This might be why the business visitor offers to work with in the first place. Expensively 3 Sources which is member number C457 Efforts being made to advance the development of the article Wesley object. Throughout, although you may, we may, we have not yet achieved success, we have decided to name it at the censors in honor of our recent progress. I know we have our the visitors to thanks for every progress we made of so far. If the censor project is successful, it's the win-win for everyone involved, as I had a pleasant developed the business of fertility c one complete power in order to reversely the temperature distortion. We with the aid of the resonate object, this is still a scientific journey ahead of us. This is merely the starting point. The sentinel situation is worse than we thought. It had already Hello, sustained Wayne, by the way. severe injuries when it descended upon Mount Firmament. With one of the temporal programs lost, it no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. So the Sentinel protected Hongjin with its power, but it couldn't return things back to normal. It would seem so. According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time. And if the Sentinel perishes, the temporal disruptions will spiral out of control, engulfing all of Jinzhou. <sighs> So the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt 
to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. Is there any way to cure the Sentinel? There's nothing we can do. At least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. The Wesleys. The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Kronos Order, a man-made resonance object. So it worked? No. A Kronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. Jinshi. We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Two more flare stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. <laughs> okay. Alright, so now we're going to walk forward towards here. I was in here actually. <laughs> it's not going up ahead. By accident. That's what it looked like. Okay, now we we'll go this way. And ooh. Another Kronos order. The second flare stone should be behind this gate. Let's restore the color. Uh, Let's gate with keep talking, keep talking. Order. Okay, you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. Okay. Okay, back up. Oh. Hold on a sec. What about that one? Let me actually like touch this. I tried to touch this earlier, but apparently I do this. Is that what it was? So I do this. Hmm. So it turned you into a clangbang. I'm ugly, I know. The device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. So I'm doing. I'm a Minecraft block. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go. Wee! Ouch! Let's give it a try. Oh, oh, ouch. Oh, that was painful as well, too. The stone slates have formed a path. Hmm? Now we can bring the tacitite fulminate across the water. Oh, nice, nice. I, I tried to do this, actually. But I didn't do anything. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Like that one. Hello? Oh, this check? hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. Is that a wolf? Ooh. It's Wake up, motherfucker! It's and take this! I'm almost dead! Uh, bite you? I know what you've been doing. Help me out. Oh, we're dead. That, that was quick. Endless reverberation. Oh, any healing. Okay, go ahead. Nice. Um, what else, actually? Okay, we did some progress, right? Oh, I don't think it was an option. Actually, kind of. We're actually good, actually. I just need to do this now. Okay. For Baiju, um. Heal! Heal! Conception. Oh, I can do it twice. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Now I gotta do this. Now I gotta do this. There is still another photon vault to break. We can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. We do. I'm gonna go this way, actually. That's what it is. There he is. We went in circles. And the next one has appeared. We swimming, swimming. Okay, I'm gonna choose to bite you because I don't want to find I'm dying from this. We touch that. There's a chest. One last flare stone to go. 
There's a carrier lift nearby. Perhaps the flare stone is on the floor beneath. We've reached the carrier lift. Hmm. Wait. Ice pile? Was that good or was that bad? Uh, upper lawyer. Lawyer? I'm gonna say it's probably. Where is it? Below us. Okay. Take us down. Okay. There's some arrows around here. Oh, is there another note to read? That's probably a lot to do. It probably is. Is that so? I didn't read it actually. I was about to do something else. What does it say? So this file confirms that the Chronos Orders are artificial resonance objects. They activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. And this also answers my previous question. The Chronos Orders rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. That sounds really powerful. No, it was nowhere near enough. The Chronos Orders shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful. The Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis, which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a Second Resonance Awakening. The destiny fight between Jensi and the Centile. Yes. That fight has to happen to trigger a Second Resonance Awakening for Jensi. So she may exert even stronger resonance abilities. Ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. The Chronos Sentinels we should secede? Countless Chronos Orders were made to collide with the Sentinels' frequencies. But they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. Without ex expressions? One Chronos Order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Chronos orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. What is overclocking? Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. It doesn't sound like a good thing. No, it's not. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. The Chronos Orders required manual control, while the Sentinel Jue appeared to be under someone else's command. In the only incident of success, just as the Chronos Order was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel, and the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Chronos Order thanks to that order. Hmm. When the Chronos Orders almost broke down. Rover, do you have an idea? Most likely, yes. But I'm gonna stop it right there, actually. Oh, well, I'm gonna there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. So, you know.